Welcome to the PNSO Dinosaur Museum. Season 4, The Large Herbivorous Dinosaurs. Seed the Ankylosaurus. A herbivorous dinosaur that might defeat the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Scientific name, Ankylosaurus. Period, Late Cretaceous. Fossils found in Western North America. Description, with a body length of about 7 meters, Ankylosaurus was the largest Ankylosaurid. It was fully covered with armor and had a huge club at the end of its tail. Ankylosauridae dinosaurs were a family of defensive armored dinosaurs. They were neither good looking nor smart, and they were slow movers. They could protect themselves when they faced the most powerful predators, thanks to their heavy armors, which made them some sort of like heavy tanks that could deflect the worst attacks. Compared with the dermal plates and spikes of Stegosaurus, the armors of Ankylosaurids appeared more defensive, but they were equally good at fending off predators. Ankylosaurus was the largest and most famous genus among the Ankylosauria dinosaurs. Their leader was called Seed. At 7 meter long, Seed was able to lead the group not only because of its size, but also because it once won a fight against a Tyrannosaurus rex. Since the T-Rex was the most powerful predator in the dinosaur world, beating a T-Rex made Seed the legendary leader. It would be an exaggeration to claim that Seed the Ankylosaurus did not fear Tyrannosaurus rex. After all, Ankylosaurus was slow-moving herbivorous dinosaurs that were much smaller than T-Rex. Moreover, Seed's brain was small, which means it was not smart and couldn't think of many ways to avoid danger. Its vision was not good, and it could not spot predators far away. Even when it wanted to choose its favorite food, it had to get close to the plants to pick the one it wanted. After it had found the perfect meal, the small flat teeth meant that it could only eat the juicy, easy-to-chew type, unlike its neighbor Edmontosaurus, who could eat anything it wanted to. Fortunately, Seed the Ankylosaurus's sense of smell was good, and it usually explored the world around it by sniffing around. But this alone wouldn't defeat a Tyrannosaurus Rex. How did Seed defeat the Tyrannosaurus Rex? Thanks to its scales and armor. The body of Seed the Ankylosaurus was covered entirely by armor. The top of its head was covered by hard scales of different sizes. The neck, back, and hindquarters were covered by large plates. The gaps between the plates were filled by small knobs. Its limbs and tail were covered by smaller plates, and two rows of flat triangular spikes grew out on both sides of the tail. Even the eyelids were protected by plates. These plates completely cloaked it from head to toe, leaving no vulnerable spot for T-Rex to attack. Of course, the belly of the Ankylosaurus had no plates, and that was the only undefended spot. However, its limbs were short, and the stomach was close to the ground, so it was not easy for a predator to attack the belly. The decisive factor is that Seed the Ankylosaurus also had a weapon. A long tail with a stout club may have been used to defend against predators. This long tail was not a very flexible curve because the tendons in the tail vertebrae were ossified, and the tail had a powerful swing. The tail club weighed up to 50 kilograms, and was at about the same height as a T-Rex's thigh. When it was threatened by a Tyrannosaurus Rex, it could swing the tail horizontally, and the club would hit the T-Rex with tremendous force. This explains how the Ankylosaurus might defeat a T-Rex. Welcome to the PNSO Dinosaur Museum. Join our writer, Miss Yong Yong, and artist Mr. Zhao Chuang and start this fantastic journey. <laughs>